Is this driver brand overhyped or are they now one of the best brands on the market? Today's video, we're gonna find out. Guys, before we get stuck into this video, if you want me to be your free golf coach, free golf lessons, tech advice for any purchases you're making, hit that little subscribe button down there and I'll be your free golf coach. Let's get stuck into the video. So the driver in question is this, Cobra LTDX. Now, I have never owned a Cobra driver, done a video on a Cobra driver, or even used a Cobra driver in the last, I think, 10 years. I think the last one I tried was like the 220SZ or something like that, going back many, many moons ago. But as we all know, this brand have been coming up and up and up and up to the top of the ladder when it comes to the driver market. For a long time, they weren't thought as a good brand for drivers, but in the last few years, when we saw the F9 come out, that really started to turn some heads with its bold colors, with its yellow on the sole, its very sort of vibrant look about it, and then matching it with the performance to that, that really put it up to the top of the pecking order. Last year's model was okay, seemed to do the same thing, can't really say on that because I've not tried it, but now we've got the LTDX model and that is standing for longest total distance. And in today's video, I'm gonna give it a try, see what I actually think of the Cobra drivers. Are they a little bit overhyped or are they actually a decent driver? Then I'm also gonna put this longest total distance to the test. So what I wanted to do when I received this driver, I got it out of the box and I headed down to Trafford Golf Center just to actually have a hit of it, get an understanding of what it looked like, what it felt like and what it sounded like. And then I'm gonna bring it back and then I'm gonna do my data numbers and get my testing done. But first let's head to Trafford. Let's see what I think about this driver on my first initial hit. First initial thoughts of uh, what it looks like out of the packet, not jumping out at your face, big, bright, bold, just a couple of little details on the on the bottom with the orange and the uh, the white stripe and then the big Cobra waiting. It looks a little bit understated, I would say. Behind the golf ball, what I would describe it as would be a very sort of square, sharp leading edge and top line, as well with a lot of drivers now that we see, you would have more of a sort of the bulbous, rounded look about it, um, but this definitely looks a little bit more square. Carbon crown on it, again, with just two little flashes of orange and white, nothing too outlandish. Interested to get a feeling of this hot face and the milled face, see if that's actually any different to any other driver that I've ever tested, because like I said, never tried one of the Cobra products before, never owned a Cobra driver, never used one, never tested one. So what will it actually feel like? Let's hit some shots. bad start. It could feel a bit more solid. Oh, good. I love the sound. Feels more carbony, if that's a, a word nowadays, carbony. I do like that behind the ball, that square look about it. Well, after initial little testing there, definitely a positive for this driver. I can see why a lot of people have raved about them. I love the sound. It sounds carbony, doesn't sound too tingy to me. I hate tingy drivers. This sounds, like I say, a little bit more carbon affected, a bit more dead, a bit more sort of that dull sound. Feels great, that forged the CNC milled face, definitely feels a little bit different. It feels a little bit almost softer off the face. You can feel that sort of forging in there. In terms of flight of the golf ball though, one thing that I am skeptical about, longest total distance, is that because it runs loads? Because what I'm finding for myself here, I've got it set at nine degrees and it's not launching like I would normally see a driver launch. It's quite penetrating, quite piercing the flight. Um, compared to other drivers that I've been using and testing, it's not getting out as high. They look to be pitching up at the back of the range, so I would say it's around that sort of 290 mark that I would normally carry it, but I'm not 100% sure whether it is gonna stand up to that, uh, that claim of longest total distance. But overall, looks good to me. I love that square edge. I love the sound of it and I love the feel of it. Could potentially go in the bag this one one thing that i have done i've ordered the grip a little bit 
too fat, so that's one thing that I'm going to have to change, get a little skinnier grip for my uh, tiny baby hands. But yeah, first impressions, I can see why people like the Cobras. So after initial testing there down at Trafford Golf Centre and actually playing a few rounds of golf and getting some shots under my belt, let's have a little look about what's actually under the hood of these drivers to make it maybe help me understand why it felt good and why I'm starting to see the flights in the feels that I did. The feel is coming from the CNC milled face. So if you've never seen a driver before from Cobra, what they do now is almost have this face that's stuck onto the driver and it's a milled golf club face. What they've also done now is include the hot face and that stands for highly optimized topology. Yeah, sounds a little bit crazy, but basically what that means is that they, across the face, have made it more stable to produce better ball speed. So there's 15 points across this face, ranging from toe to heel, top to bottom. And if you were to miss strike it, what they've done very similar, like a Callaway driver, they've got almost like a jailbreak technology in the club face. So it makes that face more stable. So if you do get your heel, you do get your toe, because we're not always gonna find the center, you're gonna see your ball speed not drop drastically. You're gonna see that that distance that you would normally only expect to see only drops ever so slightly. Also what they've done is include a little bit of a power core up towards the front of the face. So that's to keep the spin on the face and keep the ball speeds up on lower centered hits. So for the player that's maybe catching the bottom edge of the driver a little bit more or below the line of the center, the equator of the driver, that's gonna again increase our ball speeds and see that we're not getting these massive drop offs. The model that I've got has got a tungsten weight towards the back of the driver here, a 10 gram weight, which makes it a little bit more stable, gives it that little bit more forgiveness there are two other models in the lineup. We would see one that has a weight more towards the heel, which would help that slicer of the golf ball. It's going to help you try and get a little bit more draw on the ball. So if you are someone who is slicing, it's got all the same things in the face, but the weights just move around a little bit more towards the heel to try and straighten your drives out. Also, they're bringing the LTD LS version, which is the low spin version, which is for that super fast swinger. Find in the middle, you want that high launch, low spin to get that maximum distance out of it, which is what Bryson's got in his bag. We would see someone like those guys because longest total distance would kind of make sense, seeming though they've got Bryson DeChambeau and they've got Kyle Berkshire, who's one of the longest drivers out at the moment using these drivers. One of the other features that they've done also as well, the construction of the driver is actually um, consisting of 13% more carbon now. So as you can see, carbon sole, carbon crown, and we're gonna see that that is allowing them to move weight around the driver and make it as stable as possible. So having not used a Cobra driver before, initial testing, I liked it. Knowing what they're packing into the club heads now, it's up there with those premium brands like your Callaways, like your TaylorMades, like your Titleists. They're doing all the right things, but will it back up the claim? We're gonna test it against my current driver, and also I'm gonna throw in the tailor-made stealth driver because that's probably the best driver we've seen come to market this year, and one that is really grabbing headlines. So we're gonna hit five balls with each and see which comes out on top. So first one, Mizuno, my current driver, five of those, let's see how that goes. So that's five with the Mizuno. Average carry, 275. Run out was at 293. We're gonna move on to the Stealth now, hit five and see if that tops this. Then will the longest total distance driver beat those two? Stealth driver came in at a 278 carry for a 297 total distance. It's now time of the LTD X. Longest total distance. Will that creep it or will it not? Let's find out. Five shots. Let's go. That's so straight as well. The 
fairway found. That's four out of five fairways as well with that. So final results for the Cobra driver. 282 yards carry, running out to 301 yards total. So it has got that longest total distance accolade there out of the three I've tested. Now, if I were to do a more thorough test, who knows, it might just creep in. But going back to my original driver, are these overhypes? No, I think they are brilliant. And it's great to see that a brand that has not been making good drivers for a long time, has been able to make a good one and then creep on and keep performing, keep making them better. I maybe think the looks could have been a bit more exciting like that original F9 we saw on this one, but understated, it's quite classy. I do like that as well. But overall, a fantastic driver. And you know what? I'm gonna go out there and say it. I'm gonna get a Venter shaft for this. And I think this is gonna go into my bag because I absolutely love the look of it. It sounds brilliant, feels brilliant. And for my first Cobra review, I'm actually quite impressed with them. I hope that they can keep doing this. I hope they keep making great drivers. Yeah, quite impressed with Cobras, not overhyped. Maybe go try them out, LTDX. Guys, thanks for watching the review. Plenty more like this to come. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.